Hi, I'm Joe Calloway. Today we're in the back office of RE360 World Headquarters with my main man, Paycheck Bill. Is the financing in place? Close the deal! We're going to be talking today about cash, where you get it from, and how you finance your real estate investment deals. Today we're going to be talking about your money, other people's money, and bank money, and we'll touch on owner financing. If you have the resources, your own money is a great way to get started in real estate investing. There's no bigger commitment than putting your own money down on your deal. So, tap into your own personal account and grab some dough and get invested. The harsh reality is most people don't have a lot of cash on hand. But the beautiful thing about real estate investing is using other people's money. We all know a rich person, right? Let's just go to your local country club and pick a few up. You know, CEOs of major corporations, famous people and athletes, or inheritance people who get all their money from dad. That's not really how it works. Those are all stereotypes of people with wealth. There are actually wealthy people all around us each and every day. A responsible couple who saves for retirement over 25 years usually will have a net worth of well over a million dollars. A business owner who owns an auto body shop or maybe a couple convenience stores also can accumulate wealth over time and be a great potential investor. The key is to see if you can help them and they can help you by investing together and then ask for the money. Closed mouths don't get fed in real estate investing. So don't be afraid to ask for the money if you need it to do the deal. Can I get some money? That's the quick version. It's not always that simple. So make sure you do your homework. Make sure you're dealing with accredited investors. SEC Rule 501, Regulation D. Thanks, Paycheck Bill. Let's talk bank finance. Even if you have a lot of money and a lot of private investors, the banks still have more and give you access to more capital, which give you access to more investment properties. There's a few things the banks are going to look at. One is the actual property. They're going to be looking at the value, so make sure the property makes sense for what you're asking them to loan you more. The next thing they're going to look at is you as an investor. Do you have income? How's your credit score? And how do you look to them on paper as someone they want to loan money to. But don't forget about your personal image. That is extremely important. Just because you think you look extra hot in your schmedium WWF Jake the Snake T with a matching snakeskin hat doesn't mean the banker is gonna feel the same way. So throw on a sport coat and look professional when you're dealing with the banks. They're judging you as well as the asset. Hey, let's see if this owner's willing to finance me. Come on, now let's not waste our time. At RE360, we prefer to do deals in cash. It allows us to do deals faster. People want to get out of problem properties and we want to buy them, but they don't want to be tied to us for the next 10 years trying to finance us. Owner financing can work out on occasion, but if you have access to cash, you're going to beat your competition every single time. So let's bring it all together. Our financing model starts off with the individual investor who gives us cash. Then we purchase the house and rehab the house and then we rent the house. Then we turn to the traditional bank who gives us a loan based on the value of the property and the income that it's generating as well as our personal financial status. After that, we take the money that the bank gives us and gives it back to the investor and then we hopefully do it all again. This is Joe Calloway and I'm out. Thug life.